So guys, as I promised before in this video, we're gonna compare the cameras on the Honor 9 Lite side by side with the Honor 8 Pro. So if you ended up liking this video, then don't forget to share with your friends, like this video, subscribe to our channel and follow me on Facebook. Now first of all, talking about the camera specification, the Honor 8 Pro comes around 25,000 rupees and the cameras on the back side you get 12, 12 megapixel camera with RGB and monochrome sensor. Even on the front side there is a 8 megapixel f2.2 lens for the selfies. Now on the other hand the Honor 9 Lite comes with 12, 13 plus 2 megapixel cameras on the rear side. Even on the front side you get a 2 megapixel depth sensing unit for portrait mode. So the portrait mode is enabled on the Honor 9 Lite where it is not present on the Honor 8 Pro. Now with a good camera hardware both of the devices comes with a lot of camera features. Inside the camera UI you find the Pro Photo, Pro Video. Even the monochrome sensor is present on the Honor 8 Pro which is not present on the Honor 9 Lite and there are a lot of things that are not present on the Honor 9 Lite but we can't even complain because of the pricing of 10999. Now with the Honor 9 Lite as well as you get with the wide aperture mode, you also find a portrait mode and these are already manually controlled and you can also control the wide aperture settings and also change the portrait mode and also change the beautify label. So these are present on the Honor 9 Lite and also on the Honor 9 Lite you find a photo motion mode where you can capture a photo and that photo becomes a, a small video like thing. So these are the features you get with both of the cameras. So the camera UI on both of the devices is packed with a lot of features and these are the EMUI custom Android skin features. Now talking about the video sample, now with both of the devices you get 1080p or 4K but with the Honor 8 Pro you find a wide aperture mode present on a smartphone. So this is the first time and Honor 8 Pro is the one and only smartphone comes with wide aperture video mode. So many of the people don't know that, that the Honor 8 Pro also can shoot wide aperture videos and gives you a DSLR like effect from the videos. Now talking about the video resolution, the Honor 9 Lite can only shoot up to 1080p but with the Honor 8 Pro you can shoot up to 4K resolution even on the 1080p 30fps you can uh, have the EIS settings. So also the electronic image stabilization present on the Honor 8 Pro which is missing on the Honor 9 Lite but we can't even complain because of the pricing of 10 triple line. So the video resolution is also up to 4K resolution with 16 to 9 ratio. So the Honor 8 Pro is really having a good camera setup for that pricing of 25 triple line. Now also you can shoot up to pro videos uh, with a lot of editings. Now talking about the front facing camera, the feature you get with both of the devices are pretty much same. But with the Honor 9 Lite as you get a 2 megapixel depth sensing unit. So you found the portrait mode and the photo motion mode which are not present on the Honor 8 Pro. But we hope to see these things and facial recognition on the Honor 8 Pro soon with the OTA update for the Oreo 8.0. Now talking about the camera feature you get around the same camera feature with both of the cameras and talking about the video resolution you can also shoot up to 1080p videos on both of the devices like the Honor 8 Pro and the Honor 9 Lite but with the Honor 8 Pro you also find the electronic image stabilization on the front facing camera which is really a good add-on for that pricing of 2599. And also you can edit all of those photos which were taken with the wide aperture mode and also you can post edit all of that wide aperture settings and blurriness in your pictures. And these are the options you find with all of the Honor devices come to the EMUI custom Android skin. Even you can choose the color accuracy and choose the wide aperture mode settings. So these are the options you find on the EMUI. And if you miss the videos uh, uh, with just the features on the EMUI so I'm dropping all the links in the i button so click that above i button and watch all of that videos so now it's time to check some camera samples taken with both of the devices now in this picture you can see the color accuracy and the sharpness level on the Honor 8 Pro is really good and the Honor 9 Lite is also not far behind the wide aperture mode is perfectly working on both of the devices but the Honor 8 Pro looks good to eye and also the color accuracy and the sharpness level in the pictures of the Honor 8 Pro can comparable with the Honor 9 Lite and also you can see that the color accuracy on the Honor 9 Lite is really good and the whitening of the picture is really good even the wide aperture mode perfectly working sometime even in this picture you can see the wide aperture mode works perfectly on the Honor 8 Pro and also the Honor 9 Lite 
Even in indoor lighting condition, you can capture good wide aperture mode images. As there is a monochrome sensor on the On8 Pro, you can also capture black and white images in indoor lighting conditions. With the monochrome sensor, the color accuracy and the sharpness in this image, you can see and judge yourself that the On8 Pro having the best cameras for the price of 25,000 rupees. Now here you can see this is in indoor lighting conditions and this is with the flashlight. Now even you don't want to capture with the flashlight there is a dedicated night mode where you can capture really good images and as you see this will take some 30 second to 10 second timing for capturing a good images even in fully dark lighting conditions. And these are the EMUI feature you get with all of the Honor devices and this effect there you can see this one is the night shot and here you can see the honor 9 light works perfectly fine with the night mode and the color accuracy and the sharpness level are really good with the night mode on the honor 9 light now as both of the devices having dual camera sensor on the back side you can also capture wide aperture photos with really good bokeh effect but here you can see the difference between the honor 8 pro and the honor 9 light now as having the dual camera sensor but still on 8 pro capturing good images with the 8 megapixel front sensor and here you can see this is the portrait mode present on the on 9 light now even in darker lighting condition or indoor lighting conditions the portrait mode on the on 9 light works perfectly fine and give you better camera results for the pricing of 10 triple nine and even there is a screen flash present on both of the devices but the portrait mode is really working super fine on the on 9 light and gives you better selfie from a device pricing around 10 triple line. Even I did a camera comparison between the Honor 7X and the Honor 9 Lite. So definitely check that video by clicking the i button on the top. So guys that's it for this video and if you ended up liking this one then don't forget to subscribe our channel. Even you can follow me on Facebook for more tech updates. Thanks for watching. See you next time.